Since Navisgan received its CMARC certification about eight months ago, we have been focused mostly on signing up distributors, which we have done in 13 countries, um, mostly part of the EU, but also including Turkey and Russia. After that, we had to train the distributors, which we did last December, just prior to the Radiological Society of North America's annual meeting. We held a large meeting of tr for training uh, the distribution team from around the world, but also including the Europeans. Then we had to train the service engineers who will be out in the field in Europe, and we did that here in San Diego at our headquarters with a week-long training session. Um, and finally, we have set up uh, a means to um, have a constant communication flow through a portal with our distributors, which is key to any you know, indirect or direct sales team, is to keep that information going. The adoption of the PEM scanner since uh, we received CE Mark certification has been very robust. We uh, had two initial installs right out of the gate in Germany and Turkey, and we have line of sight now in the upcoming quarters to about four or five additional installs. We overcame the challenge of awareness by tapping our stateside talent. Um, we are very fortunate that we have a number of luminaries in the U.S. that also are well respected and speak frequently in Europe. So we were able to actually bring those speakers to European conferences and they would be able to speak on, on behalf of the company. We also um, brought physicians from our future luminary sites in Europe to the U.S. to participate in fellowship style programs at our, at our luminary sites. That worked very well because with very limited clinical experience under their belt, the European physicians were able to return and speak very credibly on behalf of the technology on what was the latest and greatest. Uh, on the reimbursement front, what we have done is worked closely with our distributors to identify the uh, innovators in each market um, where we will face challenges. Uh, and we are uh, now identifying a strategy to work with the public institutions that will be required to gain reimbursement with those countries. On the marketing logistic front, we've actually had um, a lot of juggling we've had to do. Um, in one particular case, we actually, uh, our distributors have used a scanner that was installed at a clinical site, rolled it into a truck, and taken it to a trade show, which was not our first choice, but it actually has worked well with guidance and training. Um, we also, in the off season here in the US, we have shipped our demo scanner to Spain, for example, and they've used it within the country packed it up with our guidance and then send it to Italy to the next distributor so our, uh, our demo scanner gets a little European vacation in the summertime um, and we you know when possible we, we do a lot of um, education over the web um, and, and speaking engagements with our chief medical officer as well as travel to Europe. Europe has quickly become the largest opportunity for Naviscan outside of the United States. There are two pieces of advice I would give to any medical device company contemplating a launch there. The first is on the regulatory front. It's a six to 18 month process to obtain CE Mark certification. What that requires is both strong internal and external resources. Um, your internal resource should be a very strong project manager who is willing and able to shepherd the process from start to finish. On the external front, you want to choose a consultant who has worked with a device similar to yours and has very strong relationships with a notified body and authorized representatives. This becomes your team as you move forward and will become part of your team and also work with you after CE Mark certification is obtained. On uh, the commercial front, we are all aware that uh, Europe is struggling um, financially. Um, Healthcare in Europe is either indirectly or directly um, sponsored by the government. So there is, albeit a lag, but it is uh, uh, an indicator for challenges within the healthcare sector. Um, budgetary cycles are a little bit off, but we, we are starting to see this. So you need to set your sales forecasts um, very realistically for the next six to eight quarters. Um, it's also very important to work with your distributors to assess the market appropriately and assess your price appropriately when you're moving into each country.